I'm Michaela Chavez, your neighborhood news reporter at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and these pictures in front of me are a testament to a beloved tradition. As Tamu Homecoming Week continues, we take a look at what it's looked like for students and the community throughout the years. <laughs> My diploma is uh, Texas College of Arts and Industries. Before the name change to A&I and then to A&M, class of 1958 graduate Joan Noosh says to her, homecoming wasn't a big deal. None whatsoever. <laughs> that was until she met her husband. When I married Fred, it was a big deal. <laughs> and has been ever since. The best mascot in the country, because there's no other javelinas in college except for us. Fred didn't go to school at Tamuk, but has been at the university for 57 years. He remembers what homecoming was like years ago. It, they had the uh, bonfire, they had the, uh, uh, usually I think a dance after the game, and they had the game, but now it's a, you know, it's a whole week. And so does his wife, Joan. The big deal was to have a mom, a live mom, with a few blue and gold ribbons to pin on your top. The first homecoming was in 1931, with the bonfire being the oldest tradition. It was just more or less back then a bonfire and a ball game. This is funny because they're decorating the goal pose. Well, that's not permitted anymore. Fast forward to now, Tamuk has grown in tradition and school spirits. It, when it brings the community together, it, it feels more at home. Even if you're not from the area, I can remember, you know, when I was a little kid that they, it is always exciting to come to the, uh, to the games and to the carnivals and the events that we put on here at Tamuk. And as for Joan now, she's found her home with Tamuk Homecoming. I knew the word existed, but uh, I now am, I feel as if I'm a part of the whole thing. I've certainly made up for the years that I did not go uh, to all of them. <laughs> Fall Carnival starts Wednesday at 5 p.m. until the end of the night. This will be followed by a Waka Flocka concert on Thursday and a bonfire Friday night. And all of this leads up to the big football game against Central Washington at 7 p.m. on Saturday. With your Neighborhood News in Kingsville, I'm Michaela Chavez, Chris X News.